Hi, this is Brother Andrew. Let me show you how to use our SCORM wrappers for HTML5 games. All right, so first of all, when you get an HTML5 game, you should get SCORM files. You get two wrappers. You get a SCORM 1.2 wrapper, or you get a SCORM 2004 wrapper. Now, you can use either one of these the same way. Um, some LMSs, you know, have a preference on, you know, which version of SCORM they use. So I'm just going to show you here how to use the 1.2. Again, it's the exact same steps for the SCORM 2004. All right, so what you need to do is grab your HTML5 game files. So when you get games from us, an HTML5 game, it comes with two folders. One is a game folder for game-specific code, and then one is kind of the, it's the core engine folder that goes with all of our games. Now, what you need to do is you need to un, you know, unzip the, the file that you get and you download from us. In there, you have these two folders. You need to grab both of these, copy them, and then paste those into the SCORM package. So let me hit paste into here. And you'd probably you know, make a copy of those SCORM wrapper files so that you can have a, a separate package that you've called you know, my game, whatever. Um, so I just copy those two into here. Now, what you need to do is take the one that has the name of your game, so it might be Card Stack or Game Show or Line It Up or you know, whatever name it is, you need to rename that folder to just Game. So if you do that, everything will connect in here. And just leave core the same. So basically that's the only change you need to do right there. Then what you need to do is open up this IMS manifest file. You can do a text editor, I'll open it here in Dreamweaver. And you only need to change two things. Line, uh, let's see, line 11 here, there's a title. And then line 13, there's another title. Just change both of those to whatever you want your game to show up as in your LMS. So this might be, you know, Let's just say, you know, my cool game. And then down here again, you do the exact same thing. So my cool game. And then go ahead and save that. Basically, that's all that you need to do to these files. The last thing is just preparing it for your LMS. So go ahead and zip everything that's in this folder. So don't, don't zip the SCORM wrapper folder itself. You need to zip all the contents that are in the folder and just go like this, I'll just right click and hit compress, or you can add to zip or you know whatever it is in your software. I'm just going to name this, this could just be my game. And then what you need to do is go into your LMS, create a, a new learning object, and then you, know, you go in there and you create a SCORM course, and at a certain point it's going to ask you to upload a SCORM package. And that zip file that we just created, that's what you need to upload. When it uploads that and it automatically unzips it in your LMS, this manifest file is going to tell it what to do and it's going to start unpacking stuff and it's automatically going to know that index is the launch page and all that and it's going to set that up in your LMS and then it's going to title it whatever title you gave it in that manifest file. Alright, so those are the steps.